Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. <laughs> I do have some news, and the good news is we're not moving yet. We're going to wait until um, probably next March. But what we're going to do is we're going to proceed like as if we're moving anyway. And one of the things that I've wanted to do is go through my lipsticks. I do keep a box that says declutter on it. It used to be a Derm Store uh, Beauty Fix box. And I put stuff in there that is going south. And then I take them out. This, this is lipstick that went south, so I did group those together. Um, and the other stuff will appear in other videos. <clears throat> I also keep this lipstick holder in my purse and they're both expired. Um, and I did have, this is my makeup I want to use up um, in 2019. And on this side is my um, makeup, um, weekly makeup drawer. And of course, I haven't switched that out in a while. So what we're gonna do is I'm first gonna conquer the items that are in these boxes so I can get them out of the way. So. I'm going to talk about the things I like and what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this because it's old. Um, and this is Lip Science Volumizer. It's one of those things that you brush on and it makes your lips fuller, but I don't find that this actually works. And it's a natural product, so I think it really has to go. Um, this is my oldest lipstick. And the fact that it's my oldest one, even though I love it, it has to go. It's really, really old. Now, it's not showing all the typical signs of age, like, you know, changing color or anything. This is Elizabeth Arden. This one is Plum Pearl. Um, it's a really, really pretty color, like a mauve kind of a pink color. But it's Elizabeth Arden, and this is the oldest lipstick I currently own. So I'm going to let that go. That's going to go in the garbage. Um, this is really old. This is from e.l.f. And I really, really do like this. It smells like it's slightly going off. It's really pretty, but it's definitely garbage. Okay. Now I still have this um, sugar and spice. And there's not much in here, so I think I am going to finish this. This is an Ulta Lip um, Crayon. I also really love this Laura Geller um, Lip Gloss. Although it does pop out kind of of its own volition. Like you unscrew and, well, and it pops off almost on its own. For that reason, I think I'm going to let this go. Um, this is one of those little Elizabeth Arden um, lip glosses. I really do like these. Um, that's it right there. I like it on top of like a dark lipstick that needs a little bit of lightening. And this is my CoverGirl um, Gidget Color Lipstick. It's called uh, Sweetheart Blush, and it comes out quite um, light on me. But I really like the way it feels. There it is right there. I love the creamy feel of it, and so for that reason, I'm going to hold on to it. But I'm going to just put it in here, so that is only three lip items from this um, box that I held on to. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to put this away, and we'll conquer the other one. I'm not conquering this yet. I'm going to go on to this, which has my everyday makeup. So I have quite a few in here. Um, because I've been grabbing them and using them. I'm not going to swatch everything because we'd be here forever. But I really like this one from um, Marinesse. And this is really, really nice on. Now it's a little bit more red than it looks in, on my skin. It looks a little bit redder on my face. This I'm surprised I like so much. This is uh, Milani and it's one of those that dry on and make a metallic lip. Well, I was just saying how much I like it and it's going to have to go in the trash because it's clearly separating already and uh, the fact that I tipped it a little bit and it spilled uh, colored oil all over my um, bed is not a good thing. This one I pulled in, um, I th just assuming I wouldn't like it and I love it. So yeah, this one needs no introduction. This is my favorite um, lip product and it's by Manicadar and it is in the color Lucky. 
Um, this is from e.l.f. and it is a really pretty gloss that's got more color in it than you would expect. Huh. Oh, my current favorite lip product is this Pixie um, by Petra, it says. But anyway, it is Sheer Rose. This is perfect to swipe on and then go out. I, I absolutely love it. And this is a cover girl that I have. And this is a nice sheer color. It's not really like this red. It's like really sheer. Um, it's very sheer on. So I like all those things. So anyway, I, and I will go over the makeup that I have in this basket um, when I do a makeup basket. But... Um, in any case, we are now done with that. That brings us to these things. Including this. Okay. Now, I do have a couple things here that are trash. Um, these are things that I did pull out. Um, periodically, I would throw things in that declutter box. Um, and I just got my lip products together. I really did like this. Pacifica um, lipstick. It's all loose in there and it smells bad. This smells like crayons. This is actually an Elizabeth Arden. I never wore it um, more than a couple of times. And so that tells you how old it is. This one smells like a box of Crayola crayons. When your lipstick smells like that, you know it has gone bad. This is from e.l.f. Uh, this is just the lip exfoliator, which just got old and nasty. And this is peak lip thing, and I, I never liked it, and it's now it smells bad. So I carry this thing in my purse, and I love this thing. It's got a little mirror, um, and I love these two lip products. Love, love them, love them. Um, I am going to get rid of both of these. I, I hate to. So this one is in Sunset Angora, and this one is, this one is in Coral Encore. I love these. I absolutely love them, but they're very old. I would not give them to anybody and they're not cruelty free, but the fact is they're just too old to keep. This one by Girl Lactic. Um, it is a uh, matte lip paint. I don't like um, these lip paints that dry on, so I am going to put this one aside because it's still in the package and it can be used by somebody else. Okay, so this was done for a box of charm um, by a lip creations company. I did like the way this looked in the tube, but it's a matte lip gloss and I don't, I know I'm not gonna like it and I have enough stuff as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. And this is from Adesi and this is a liquid lipstick. Now I haven't tried this, it's not, it doesn't say matte. This is a really pretty color. I'm gonna hold on to this one and I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe I should keep the box until I use it. So I haven't made an absolute decision on it. So, you know, let's put this in the maybe pile since it's still packaged. This is a really sweet little um, lipstick sample that came from Juice Beauty. This, I think, would be perfect thing to give to my neighbor um, along with some of the other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and give that away. This is from Sugar. Um, I don't think it's the same company that makes the Sugar lip gloss or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and give that away. That's a sample size lipstick. Um, this is from Makeup Forever, and this is kind of like a um, dead color, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and give that away. It's it, Those are colors that, if they're too close to my skin tone, they just don't look good. For example, this NYX, I figured, oh, oh, let me give that a try. Now I have to throw it away because I have used it, and it looks, it matches my skin tone, and so it looks freaking horrible. So yeah, that, I'm gonna just toss that out because it's, you know, a lip gloss. And I already asked my daughter if she wanted it and she doesn't like the color either. All right, so this is a mini lipstick from Makeup Forever. And this is actually a really pretty color. It's a nice nude and I don't have a lot of nude, 
So I'm going to break the rules here and I'm going to keep this and use it. But just in case I change my mind, I'm going to keep it in the box. Okay, this is awesome. This is Tristique. It's actually like a three-part item. It's got like a gloss on, on the bottom. I'll show it to you. So, you know the Tristique highlighters and stuff? They always look like this and they make you feel like, oh no, someone left the cap off. But anyway, <laughs> um, this has a really beautiful lipstick inside that is really really suits me oh and by the way <laughs> magnet um and in the bottom it's got this really nice gloss so it's like this is probably like one of my favorite things and i can't believe i haven't been using it let's get rid of the box and we shall keep this all right so um this is also really beautiful this is from trust fun beauty I love this color. Um, this is uh, Method to the Madness. Now I've already used this MAC lipstick and it's a little bright. I stroke it on my hand. It's a very bright red because what I do is I put it on, I blot it, and then I put a gloss on top of it and it looks beautiful and it leaves a stain. This is lipstick in Ruby Rue, which I think is one of the biggies, but I'm just... This is going to be one of the uh, non-cruelty-free things that I'm going to keep. I do like that. Okay, this is an Elizabeth Arden, and it is not like it looks in the tube. It's a very sheer color, but it's really beautiful. Now, you know that I'm, I haven't bought anything that's not cruelty-free, but if I have something already, I can't see a reason not to use it. So, whoa. It's a really nice um, stand. I'm going to put it somewhere where... It won't matter. <laughs> it's got this metallic finish. I've never used it. I wonder if I should go ahead and give it away because I probably will never use that. Yeah, I'll give it to my neighbor. And this here is really nice. NYX whipped um, old, old as freaking hills. This uh, I don't think has turned yet, but it's a beautiful pale pink. This is um, a beautiful color. Lip Brulee and it's by Beauty Crop. It's still in its plastic but I am going to keep this because this is exactly the kind of um, lip stuff I like. So, All right, this is from oh, Coastal Scents. You can see that I use this on top of um, darker lipsticks. And what it does is it sort of lightens the color a little bit. You can see it there, kind of, kind of. Um, and it also makes it look good. So I'm going to hold on to that. This is from Kevin Aquan. And I have another one of these somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it is. I'll have to find it. Um, this is a really beautiful red color. And I, I don't know that I could ever get rid of anything by Kevin Aquan. <laughs> Um, this is absolutely beautiful on. Okay, this is Lord & Berry uh, Lip Crayon. Um, I think I am going to give this one away. You can use them to line your lips, but I think that uh, I'm probably never going to actually use that. Okay, this, oh my god. I have some stuff that's just wild color. Um, <laughs> that's... That's really pretty. I have to try this on before I get rid of it. Believe it or not, this looks really nice on, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> um, my keep pile is growing over here, um, so let's put some stuff in the back that I'm keeping. First, first things first, I love this. This is from Wet n Wild. Uh, it only cost me a couple of bucks. It's like a slightly metallic peach color but where this really excels is on top of lipsticks like as a lipstick topper i love that okay i did get this nars stick and another one from i got these for my birthday from um sephora i like them both There we go. Um, but I do like both of those. 
I don't know how long the camera was off, but I did throw quite a few more things in this um, bag of garbage, um, old lip glosses, and so uh, uh, I don't know how long I went with this off, so I apologize. Okay, so this is this is like Walking Dead color, and it looks not right. It looks funny in the tube, so that's going in the garbage. Anyway, this is from Marabella, and it's Color Lux. It's just not um, a color that I would wear. So I might have to throw that out, though. I'm not sure if I can give that away. I have three of these little tart lip lippies. I did enjoy these while I had them, but they're old. You can see this one is almost gone. Yeah, it would have been nice to finish that, but it's really old, so that's going to be garbage. And it's one of them's leaking a little bit. So it's um, Smith and & Colt, and it is... Her name is Bubbles. Something this small would be a good thing to have in my little um, purse thing. That's a nice color. Okay, this, oh my gosh, this is Elf Shimmering Lip Gloss, and it, this is really old. I don't think I can keep this old, old stuff. Um, it smells a little bit like crayons, so that's obviously gone. Okay, this one is Becca, and this one breaks my heart because you can see that it's all, like if you look closely, you can see that it's all separated and, um looks hardened in there almost it doesn't smell right anymore this is like shot and that's so sad because i never used it okay this is dead color for me like it would look horrible that's got to go now oh it's nice and tight so i can give that away it looks like i never opened it um this is um lick La lip lacquer by model co but is it dried out or is separated i think it's separated in there so i'm gonna let that go this is hikari let me see if that you know what that's got a little bit of a bloom on it so that's gotta go um this is manakadar and it's really red and it's really pretty and huh yeah, I don't know if this is still good or not. Let's see. Oh, it's still smooth. Well, I'm going to give this a little bit more time. We'll see how that uh, that ends up. Um, okay, this is an Elizabeth Arden, and this is a color I will never, ever wear. I You can see that I never even tried it. Let's see if it smells. No, I'm going to give that away to my neighbor. These are both old NYC, and this one is Rimmel, and they're both really old, so that's going in the trash. I do really like these, and so I'm going to keep them. I have a couple of butter glosses, um, so I'm going to keep the butter gloss. You know, why don't I empty this whole back into the And that way I can start fitting the stuff that I'm keeping. Okay, so I am going to keep that. I do really like Juice Beauty. I kept this in the box just because I wasn't positive whether I was going to keep it or not, but I am because the color is really beautiful. Um, that is, I don't have a lot of nude, and so that's a nice nude color. All right, this is old, very old. This is from. Uh, Milani, but it, I know that I bought this like many years ago, so I'm gonna let that go. Oh, wet and wild. But this is old, and I think it is shot. It looks shot, so I'm gonna let it go. Okay, this is Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and I got this for free from somebody. It has this ridiculously large doe foot applicator that is like very hard to get in and out of there. Oh, but look how hard it is to get it back in there. So I don't know what they were thinking. I do like this, so I'm going to hold on to it. This is still wrapped, but this is one of my beloved um, Ulta uh, mineral lip things. So I'm going to keep that. This is also Ulta. This is Butter Bomb. 
Love that. Still wrapped. Um, this is a lip gloss. Super shiny. I'm never going to wear this. It still has the plastic wrapper on it, so I'm going to give that to my neighbor. I'm literally never going to wear that. Um, this Ulta stick is one of those that you put over stuff. What color are you? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Sweet Dreams. And this is really, really nice on top of other stuff. Okay, this is really old. Um, I, need I say more? <laughs> uh, let's see. These are really nice lipsticks, and I like them. They are both from Ulta. Um, the chubby sticks are really lipsticks, guys. You know, you really can just use them as lipstick. Oops, this one still has a plastic cover on it, so I will leave it. Um, let me just show you one that's not covered. They have very tight, tight lids. But anyway, these are so creamy. You don't have to use these as lip liners. They are actually lipstick. So don't fear the um, chubby stick. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a chubby stick. I'll never use that. I love these chubby sticks. This one is in my favorite color, Sugar and Spice. This, uh, this one is in Love Story. It's beautiful on, absolutely beautiful on. Um, and this one is really, really beautiful. This is in Glamour. Okay, and this is Ulta Nourishing Lip Color. And these liquid lipsticks, these, this is one of the old formula, but it's not tremendously old, is uh, more like a lip cream. Okay, this, I've never liked this. I should give it to my daughter. Um, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Um, I, I don't know why, but I've never liked it, so I'm going to go ahead and give that away. Um, this is one of my Elizabeth Arden glosses. I use them all the time, um, and I can't buy them anymore. It's another one. Okay, um, this is another one of um, Ulta Nourishing Lip Colors. I'll keep that, and I keep this. There's another crayon. Okay, this I will never wear, the super shiny one. But it also appears to be separated and maybe not good anymore. I don't want to give that to my neighbor because... It doesn't look quite right in the tube, so I think that's gone. Um, this is a really pretty butter bomb in red. This one is really, really nice on top of other stuff. Um, this one, uh, I already gave her one. I gave her this one already, um, but I should probably go ahead and give her this one. It's still wrapped in plastic, and I'll give that to her. Um, no, maybe I'll keep that. It's a good topper. Okay, and I'm keeping all three of those. I love them. I do. I absolutely love them. Okay, so now we're going to get into other areas of this container. Um, so let's put everything in the middle that is being debated by me. All right, so um, there is this pure lip gloss stick. And I'm going to keep this. I like pure cosmetics. Um, it looks orange, but quite honestly, it is not orange on. See that? It's kind of just like a warm color on. So I'm going to hold on to that. I like it. Get rid of the box. Okay, this is Dirty Little Secret. And this, I think, is a matte. It's an eyeshadow. Why is this in here? Um, you can see that I have one of these. I love this. I don't know where the other one that I already have open is, um, but I really do love that, this um, formula, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I think I already went over that, and I like that. And this is by MAC, and it is a patent polish lip pencil. Which to me means that it's like patent leather. Uh, it's rounded, but I think it was always rounded because I've never used it. But since I have the box, and since it appears that I haven't used it, and since it's an awfully light color for me, I'm going to go ahead and give that away. All right, these are old. They have to go. These are really old. They have to go. This is really, really, really old, and it has to go. Now, the only part I have left is this and then this. So... Yes, this is crazy stuff, but I like it, and I used I do use that. Um, this is from Hikari. I don't have a lot of, 
I guess they do have a lot of dark stuff. Um, this is really nice on, and this is steely style. It still smells good. It's got good color, so I'm going to keep that. All right, this is, I think it might be one of the few items I have from Ciate. I do want to keep this. This is liquid velvet, and I have not tried it yet, so I would like to try that. Um, this one is, God, this is too old to even give to anybody. It's not, doesn't smell totally gone, but it smells like it, it is going, so I'm going to let that go. Okay, and I think I told you already, I love these um, butter glosses. The other one's buried under the other stuff over there. Um, this is Marvelous Moxie by Bare Minerals, and it's a perfect color for me. So I'm going to keep that. Um, this lip color stick is from Measurable Difference. It's gone bad. So, so sad. That has to go. Okay, this is one of my um, favorite colors in Ulta Lip Crayons. This is separated. You see that? It's like real bright red and then brown. Just brown. Um, yeah, so it it changed color, and so that is the hallmark of if something doesn't smell, if the color is changed, it's time to let it go. Uh, this is one of those Elizabeth Thorntons. I keep those. These are really nice. They're from Star Looks, um, but I have had these for too long, and it's time for them to go. Okay, here's my other Kevin Aquan. I remember saying to you guys, yeah, I know I have another one. This is my favorite color of the two of them. And it's just a really beautiful color on. And I had it in the front, which is where I was putting stuff I use most often. So I'm going to put that right there. This is um, Laura Geller. I don't usually get rid of Laura Geller stuff. This is color drenched, drenched lip gloss but it also appears that it has separated inside the tube, so I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Okay, this um, this is Mega Slicks Wet n Wild. I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'll tell you why. I got it at the dollar store. Um, this is really old, because they get the stuff, it's already old, and so um, even though it's a pretty color, I think it really needs to go. This is one of those powder um, lipsticks. I haven't tried it yet. It doesn't have a lot in there. It's from CLE. My daughter um, really loves it, so I'll give that a try. If she, if you know, she wants it, if I don't end up loving it like she does, then I'll give it to her. This is one of those um, that change color lipstick queen. I don't know what color it would actually be on my actual lips, but you can see that it, oh, it's so creamy, that it's changing to like a really, wow, that's really nice. Um, a really nice light, um, maybe I'll put that in here too. Kind of like that. Um, yeah, that kind of one. All right, this is still op still unopened, but it's Manicadar and it's a color I like, so I'm going to keep that. This is a pink that I will never, ever, ever use, and it is too old to pass on, so that'll go in the garbage. I know you guys are probably shuddering at the stuff I'm tossing out. This is by Glow Minerals, and it is a really pretty red, and it smells wrong, so this is going in the garbage. It's beautiful. God, this is beautiful. There it is right there, and it's so nice. Um, this is Elizabeth Thornton, beautiful color, it says. Yeah. And it is a beautiful color. So we're going to hold on to that. Uh, this one is ColourPop. So there it is right there. So I have to give this a good uh, try before I decide to get rid of it. Okay, this is Smashbox, and I love this gloss. This gloss is one of my absolute favorites. It is in Chic Copper. Okay, this is nice, but it's Becca and it's separated, um, so we'll let that go. This is from La Ritzy, which is a natural makeup company, but it's also not a color I would ever use, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever use that. Ah, uh, yeah. 
what shall I do? I'll put it, yeah, I'll give it away. Okay, um, Dirty Little Secret. This is a lipstick that is really pretty. It's like a um, mauve color. And it doesn't look separated. And it's really pretty. It's just a little too pink for me. Right there. Let me see if it's good enough to give away. So I'm going to give that away. Okay. This I really like. It's a weird product. Pure. It's a liquid um, lip lux. A lot of people didn't like it when it first came out. It's got a sponge which doesn't seem very hygienic. It brings out a little pop of color. I just, I'm going to exaggerate the amount here. Um, and it's really, really pretty. Like I think a lot of people could get away with that color. Um, I think I've used it enough that I really can't give it away. So, all right. And this is Tartus. I think I just got these little tart things. So I'm going to keep those. All right. So that empties out this whole thing. So I'm just going to take these and the two babies and put them in here and we'll see what happens with those because I will probably make a decision to um, go ahead and keep that. I'm going to try to keep these two brands together because they belong together. Oh my god, how did you escape? This is an e.l.f. Um, clear lip gloss. I don't know how that escaped my um, <laughs> me catching it. So. so I know it doesn't look like much, but when we look at the pile after we're done, it will look like much. So now we're going to move on to my lipstick tower. It, I don't know if it's going to stand very well, so I might have to stand it on top of this box. Okay, so there are some lipsticks in here I know have to go. Um, so I'm just going to start with the ones I know I'm going to get rid of. This is um, one of the old uh, Color Whispers. It's a really beautiful color, but it's so old that I don't know that I would take a chance putting that on. Uh, this one is my oldest Clinique lipstick. It's really, really pretty, and I really like it, but it's really, really old. It's in the color um, Raspberry Glacé, and do I want to take a chance? No, so I'm going to get rid of that. And here's another one of those lip things. It's really, um, really old. You're probably seeing things I should get rid of. Okay, so this is an old Elizabeth Arden lipstick, and I'm never going to wear this. I have worn it and you can see that it's starting to separate a little bit there. And so that has to go. Um, let's see how my other Elizabeth Thorntons are. This one is in pink twilight. And again, it's just like that other one. It's a really pretty pink, but I'm never going to wear this and it's too used for me to give away. So it has to go in the trash. This one is really pretty on, but I, I did wear it the other day and I didn't like the way it felt. I think it's dried out a little bit. Yeah. So it doesn't even stroke very nicely anymore. And pink pucker. Okay. This one, I don't think I'm going to separate myself from, um, although it does look a little bit separated. Oh no. How can this be? And this one is in Honeysuckle, but it has started to separate, so I have to let it go. These would be my last, my very last Elizabeth Arden lipstick, so I hope they're okay. Oh, God. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this and see what happens. I think I will, would use one of those light glosses over it. This is a really pretty red. Let's see. And it's still creamy, so I'm going to keep that. And this one is, oh, this is my perfect color. This is actually my favorite color. Breathless, number 31. So I really do like those, so I'm going to keep them. All right, I have some hard decisions to make because I have a bunch of Max Factor lipsticks that are pretty old. Oh, God. And I really do love them. Like, I love them so much. Um, but I used to have like 50 of them. This is what I have left that didn't go bad yet. This is only five of the like 500 Max Factors because that's the only lipstick I used to wear. 
This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color on. And if it doesn't smell bad, I'm keeping it. And it doesn't. And it doesn't look like it's got bloom or anything. So I'm going to keep that, um, just so you know. By the way, uh, Max Factor stopped selling in the United States, but they're coming back. This is called Prima Donna, and it's in 1207 um, is the color. Now, I noticed when I looked at the Max Factor site that some of the stuff was a little bit different. So it could be that the color is different now. This one is Mauve Platinum, and it's in color 1215. And this, again, is a beautiful purpley um, color. It's a lot like the other one, whoops, but it's a little bit more red. So you can see the two of them right there. And I don't see any bloom on this, um, and it doesn't smell bad. I'm willing to take a chance because I can never buy uh, Max Factor again, and these are really unique colors. Um, this one is also a purpley pink color. It doesn't smell bad. Um, and it goes on nicely. And this is color uh, 1215, and this is mauve platinum. So, yeah. I don't, I'm pretty sure none of these are going to be bad because I already threw away a bunch that were. Um, this one is in iced mocha and it's in 1920 is the color number. Uh, look at that. That's just beautiful color. And so I'm keeping that. Doesn't smell, hasn't separated, still doing fine. Um, and this one is number 1215. This is also mauve plat mauve platinum but this is one I used to carry around in my purse and I'm gonna put this in my purse because I love it so much this was in the color nude it's really pretty though I think it's wonder beauty nope it's mellow beauty mellow is a natural brand so it's not gonna last for a very long time oh my god it's beautiful but it's matte why would you do that I'm gonna give that to my daughter she'll like it Okay, this is um, Model Co. And this is really, 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 really pretty. And I got this in um, Lit Monthly. So this is not matte. It's, it's a little bit shiny and it's really beautiful. Okay, these are both natural. So I'm a little bit nervous about these. This one is in the color romance and the other one is in bombshell and they're by honeybee um cosmetics let's see hasn't gone bad yet doesn't look separated pretty 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 color it just hasn't been on my radar yeah i like that so we'll keep that and this one, I think I gave a couple of these to my daughter already. This one is really pretty color. Um, and yeah, it's so much less obnoxious on. It's a little bit sheer, which is really nice. This is City Chic, which is by um, City Color. It's really, really pretty color. And it's, uh, it's one of those lipsticks that's like heaven to put on. Very nice and smooth. I'll keep that. Let's see, this is an Ulta color and this is in the cappuccino, but it is just like my... Oh, this is so sheer and nice. Oh, this is going in my little thing. This has to go in here. So this is beautiful and it's an Ulta color and it is in shade 229 and I think this is the same one yes it is um, and it's a little bit redder no it's a little redder than that that's really nice I like those I really like um, Ulta lipsticks especially the lip butters this is one of the lip butters I love um, love 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 these um, and yeah, it looks like I have a lot of the same color, but they're slightly different. Okay, uh, this is one of the, um, they're called Super Shiny Lip Butter. And you can see I've used this one a lot. Can you see how low it is? Um, and this is really nice. It's in the color Rome. And it's really, really pretty on. That's really pretty on. 
Um, here's another super shiny, and this one is in the color Rome also. I bought an extra. This is a backup. Um, and this one is also Rome, and it's a backup. Um, you can see when I really feel, fall in love with the color, I like to stick with it. This is one of those that change color. Let's see if it changes color for me. It's Lipstick Queen. Um, I don't really like the color. It's like really green still. Uh, yeah, it's like a greenish gray color. I don't think I like this. I'll have to try it when on my lips, which I guess your lips are warmer, so that's a maybe. So I'll put the maybe there. Um, this is also Lipstick Queen, and it's one of those it's beautiful blue color, but it's not actually blue. And I don't really like this either. It leaves a little shade of blue there. So I'm going to have to try these on my lips and see what I think. Oh, this is separated. Yeah, that has to go. Wow. That doesn't look anything like it looks in the tube. It's like a brownish red color. Kind of like that. So I'll keep that. This has an amazingly loose top, and this is not looking separated like that other one. Let's see, we'll put it here. And it's like a corally red. Like, they don't look the same as they look just looking at them, so they're, that's pretty nice. Okay, this is uh, Japanese, and it's in a color I'll never ever wear. Let's try this on my hand anyway. Yeah, I will never wear this. Um, so I'm going to give it away. This I will wear, but um, not now. This is Manicadar, so I will definitely wear. That should be in there. I'll put it in with the um, lip glosses. And this, I love this thing. This is from um, Jane Iredale, and it changes color when you put it on. So it's like super nice. Okay, I want to say this is Smashbox. It is. Okay, because the color is legendary, and I know that um, Smashbox has like... That's one of their colors, and it's in the color Legendary. I don't know, I don't know about this. I don't want to rub it on my hand because I've never used it. You can tell it's never been used. So, uh, you know what, I'm gonna give that away. And while, I'm just gonna rip off the Band-Aid and do it. Um, this one is, I think, an Elf. It's in the color Happy. Um, and I really like this color, so I'll keep that. Um, I'm trying to figure out who made this. I think it might be Elf. Oh, no, it's Laura Mercier. This one is from Too Faced, and it's a really pretty color. Very natural, and it's one of the few nudes that I'm going to keep. This one is from Wander Beauty, which is also Cruelty Free Company. It's pretty, um, but it, I do have a lot of colors like this. Huh. I think I'll give that to my daughter. She'll like it. I don't think I can give it to my neighbor, though, because I did use it. Oh, I love this one. Oh, it's Marvelous Moxie. It's actually Marvelous Moxie, and I love this. It's got a subtle um, metallic shimmer to it. I like that a lot. And of course, here we go, Marc Jacobs, and this is a beautiful color. Yeah. Oh, it's just beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's just, that's just too beautiful. These three are Elizabeth Arden. I have Red Diamond. Um, Red Diamond, I've got two of those, and Petal. So let's take a look at what Red Diamond looks like. Oh my god. All right, this one looks used, and so I shall test this. Huh. I will never wear that. Never. Let's see if this one hasn't been used. All right, this one has not been. Let me just make sure they smell okay. Yep. So I'm going to give that one away, and this one... 
maybe I'll try it again one more time so it'll be in the maybe pile and this is beautiful absolutely beautiful on and I really love it um, there we go it's like a very like if you ever want to look really natural this is the color and this is in a ceramide ultra lipstick in petal and that is it right there this is freaking old as the hills this is like a few quite a few years old it's still creamy and nice but you know what it's not it's from I belonged to um, what, what was it? Cosmetique for a little while and this was one of the things. I have to get rid of it because it's just that old. I have a bunch of Laura Geller here and they're really nice. This is like a sheer. My mom used to love these and they're really beautiful. Um, so this is a sheer color. This one is in Vista. And I love it, love, love, love. These are supposed to be marbled like that, so it's not separated. They were actually um, sold as a marbled set. Um, this one is in Riviera, so don't don't forget this stuff is marbled, okay? Um, and this one is in Dulce. And you can see it's they're like pretty nude. So at some point I might try these on and go, mm, I don't know. Um, and then I have these two. These are just um, bomb colors. And even though they look super colorful, they're super, super not. <laughs> these are like um, almost like lip balm. Okay, so in the interest of time, I have taken the rest of the stuff out of the tower that's over there. Um, and just want to go over these real quick. This is another um, Elizabeth Arden, and it's actually really, really pretty. So I'm going to hold on to that. I always, I love these butter lipsticks, so these I will not um, part ways with. These are beautiful on, like they don't look anything like what they look like on the label. They're just freaking beautiful on. Okay, this is a um, nice little lipstick. Who are you from? You are pretty. I think I might have already gone over this. Um, and this is happy. Yeah, I did go over happy already. So we'll put you over there. I'm going to keep that. Uh, this is um, from Dirty... Nope. Be a bombshell. I thought it was dirty, a little secret, and this is in the color Lush. And this is not like it looks. Like it's not that color on. It's like um, a burgundy color on. It's really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. I have another one of these cargo lipsticks. This one is. Hmm. Uh, I think this might be about but it's really pretty on so yeah you know I know I have another one of these somewhere or unless I tossed it already this is from um I loved this color I wore this to work every day but that was like I've been at my new job now for the last um gosh I've been with them for five years so this is really old um this is Rimmel so yeah this one is Lorac this came in a set. This is really pretty. It has the name Lorac um, printed on it. I don't know if Lorac is still cruelty free or not, but that's really pretty, so I'm going to hold on to that. This one is um, an Elizabeth Arden, and it's very dark. It's much darker than I thought it was going to be, but it has a nice um, light sheen to it, so it does look nice on. I could swear I already, I did already go over this little Too Faced. I'll put that up there where I had it. And that leaves us with just these. Now the Tarantino ones, all the stuff keeps trying to fall on me, um, are really nice and beautiful. And this is like a warm nude. I really like that right there. And this one is pink, but it's not obnoxious. Oh crap. It's been like... It broke off at one point, so yeah, you know, it's totally broken. Um, 
I am going to have to get rid of that. Yeah, that's too bad. But that's garbage. Um, oh, this is one of those butters. I keep those. Um, I, where are all my Wet n Wild lipsticks? I had a couple of them that I really loved. But anyway, I can't find them now. I must have them in a purse somewhere. Um, this one is really pretty. And this is 804 Paris Rose. And this is... Who, is, who are you? It's very bright, <laughs> but it's perfect for summer. This one I love. I absolutely love it. Um, I have a couple of um, lipsticks that are wet and wild that I really love, and this is one of them. And then there's this Manicadar, and it's just too pretty to part with. So, you know, I put that on there. It's a, like a nude color, but it's got a little bit more dimension to it than like Walking Dead nude so it's pretty color. Now I'm going to show you the pile of giving away stuff first because it's actually a little bit smaller than the garbage pile and that is oh it's still a lot of stuff um, so this is all going to go to my daughter um, and my neighbor and her friend so this one I did put a nail polish spot on This is really old. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. I kind of like it. Um, everything else can go. I'm going to miss this. I wish that it wasn't oh, so metallic. But anyway, these are going to go to my neighbor and her daughter um, and my daughter. So I move those over. Um, I will do a count for you guys like I always do. And here's the garbage pile. Okay. These are lipsticks that are just not good anymore, are really old, and I just can't um, see giving them to anybody. Uh, I don't want anyone else to get sick on my account, so these are actually going to all go in the trash. I cannot believe I'm throwing so much away, but I, I just have to. Some of it's really, really, really intensely old, and it's really got to go. Um, so, yeah, that's glosses and lipsticks. I have these two cardboard boxes here just to separate. Um, this is 60 and this is 15 and I have a total of 75 lip products that I have decluttered. These 60, please don't write to me and ask me for these. Um, these 60 will go out in the garbage can tonight. Um, I do that so that I'm not tempted to grab anything out of it. I've already gone through all this stuff and, you know, temptation being what it is, I hate to get rid of lipstick. Lipstick is one of my weaknesses, obviously. But a lot of this came in beauty boxes, so I don't feel too bad. So this is, and a lot of it's very, very old. So this is 60, this is 15, for a total of 75 lip products decluttered. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And these will go to my neighbor and my daughter and her daughter, and these will go in the trash. And I feel so much better, even though it's 75 items that were uh, are being parted with, I should say, tossed, um, it's still, it feels really good to go ahead and do this. Thank you and have a beautiful evening. Good night.